Oh sweet Jesus, he's riding with shorts on. Everyone's gonna die. How you doing everybody? Yeah, we're going for a short little little spin today because I got a bunch of stuff to do, but it's about, uh, it's almost 80 degrees already and it's 10.30 in the morning. I, I just had to get out. No matter what I got going on today, I just, I just had to get out. But the one thing I wanted to talk about is, is gear selection. And no, not your transmission, but I mean, you know, helmet, gloves, pants, boots, all those things. So there seems to be differing opinions if you go on the interwebs about um, what what gear that people choose to use and all that kind of stuff. And and there seems to be, you know, there seems to be three camps that that are what I've seen. I've seen the the you know. I just go out and whatever I'm wearing, I wear and I ride kind of camp that doesn't really dress up to go riding. They just ride. You know, yeah, they put a helmet on if, if the law is applicable. But um, you have the camp that they're like, ah, you know what, no matter what, I wear my riding jacket, I wear gloves, and I wear my helmet. And then you have the other camp, uh, people that they dress up like Transformers. They look like Optimus Prime before they get on there on their bike or on their uh, on their trike. Now, granted, people should do whatever they want to do. I mean, there's no you know, hard and fast rule about things. You know, that and and plus you're your own person. Why are you listening to anybody else? I mean, I, I, I can understand getting advice from people, but you know, there's there's no hard and fast rules about these things and no one should give you hard and fast rules. The only person that should tell you what to do is you and anything in life. But what I've been seeing lately is a lot of a lot of people giving their opinion and, and that's great. That's that's what that's what the internet is for and that's why, you know, we have discussion groups and stuff like that. But sometimes people are just getting downright insulting and you know it, you you really want to hold back by just saying like dude, lady, shut up. Seriously, because you know you, you have most of the people that have been riding a long time, whether they've been riding a bike or riding a trike or anything like that, you know, first of all, yeah, come on out. That's that's great. There's nobody behind me, but, you know, as long as you get to make your turn, that's all that matters. But it just seems like the longer someone is ridden, the less they kind of give their opinion, unless you insult them by calling them stupid or foolish or whatever other adjective you want to use. For what you think is not the right thing to do. And I, I've seen that a lot, you know, I've seen a lot of people come out like, oh, if, if you ride without gloves and a jacket on, you're you're just foolish. Oh, it's it's stupid to whatever. And then when you actually research who these people are, you find out that they've been riding for about four or five months total on a Can Am Spider, which is a trike. Completely different. The only exposure they've had to, you know, I'll just say a mechanized vehicle with handlebars is the Can-Am Spider. And, you know, they're acting like they're kings and queens of the road, that they know all this stuff. It's like, you are so green behind the ears, it's not even funny. So, I, I mean, I, I don't know. When I start things, I listen more than I talk. If someone asks my opinion on something, yeah, I'll give it. Yeah, this is what I do. Uh, this is this is where I go. This is this is what I enjoy. But I don't sit there and and comment on other people about. Oh, that's stupid. Yes, I know the internet gives you a certain safety where you can say whatever you want to people. It, it doesn't mean you should. You know, but to to all the new riders out there that are decked out in all their best gear, I mean, you know, you're you're talking to people that have been. I've been riding for like 25 years. I certainly don't know everything there is about riding. I'm always learning something new, you know, and that's after 25 years. So to sit there, but I'm not going to profess all my knowledge to people. And I'm certainly, certainly not going to put people down because I'm new to the scene and I'm wearing all the best gear that, oh, it happened that my dealer sold me because my dealer told me, just put the fear of God into me that you need a helmet, you need a jacket, you need this, you need that. Where's your credit card? I mean, that's what it boils down to. This guy in front of me is either fighting with himself or he's on a spirited phone call, which he's not supposed to be on. So that's the thing, you know, they, they go and they buy their, their machine at a dealer and they walk out of there with, 
you know, the big modular helmet and the communication system and the, the, the steel knuckled gloves and the steel toe boots and the riding pants, you know, mesh for summer and then the, they got the heavy ones for winter because might as well get them now and, you know, and they got these big ass jackets on. So, I mean, I get it. If that makes you feel safe to get on your machine and enjoy yourself, then that's exactly what you should do. But don't go on the internet and kind of put people down for their choices. Because, you know, to some of us, you know, and I get it, you know, I want a high-vis jacket and high-vis this and high-vis that. Guess what? They're not going to see you anyway because, yes, they see you. But most drivers in cages, they don't care. They, they, they figure you're going to stop or you'll get out of the way or you're a motorcycle, you don't belong on the road with cars. So it's not a matter of seeing you. They just don't give a shit about you. But people need to calm down with their opinions because there's one thing giving your opinion like, okay, what are you riding? Like me, I always have gloves on. I always, always, always ride with gloves. You know, why? Because that's how I'm most comfortable. Yeah, I know it, 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 it's going to afford me a lot of protection in case, you know, something happens. But I just do it because I like the way my hands feel on the grips. I feel like I have an extra grip on the bike. I feel more connected to the bike when I have, you know, gloves on. So that's why I do it. I always wear a helmet because... It's state law in New York State to wear a helmet. Okay, I get that. I wear a full face helmet now because, you know, I rode for 25 years and I used to have a little peanut helmet on or I'd have a little half helmet on, you know, because I was riding, you know, Harleys and Harley type bikes and stuff like that. So that was the culture. That was, that was what you wore, you know. But now with the multiple sclerosis, you know, I really... <laughs> I can't take it to the face like I used to. <laughs> but I can't, you know, have the wind beating me in the face like that because there's a certain amount of fatigue that sets in if I'm not careful when I ride. The reason why I'm wearing shorts today is because, again, with multiple sclerosis, today it's already, it's only it's only 10.30 in the morning, it's already 80 degrees. So today's gonna get north of 85, probably touch 90. I have to really, really be careful, you know, keep myself hydrated. And I have to watch, you know, that my core temperature doesn't go up too high because then, you know, I'm going to be limping around and not having a very good time. So I'm not going to get decked out in riding pants and, you know, a riding jacket and, and all these things, you know. So that's why I don't wear a lot of stuff because, you know, I have to really be careful, you know, when it comes to getting overheated because, yeah, you could sit there and be like, oh my God, but what if there's an accident? What if there's a... Yeah, okay. What if I walk into a grocery store or a bodega and someone's holding it up and I get shot in the throat? You know? <laughs> you know, what if I come home and like four or five guys are running a train on my wife? You know, what if, what if, what if, what if? You know, what if I get a phone call that, you know, my mother just went into sudden cardiac arrest and she's gone? I mean, yeah, you could live your life with all these what ifs, but honestly, you're either going to live in fear or you're going to live. You have a choice. You could live in fear or you can live in spite of fear. Only you can decide how you're going to live. Only you can decide what you're going to do. But everyone's choice is their choice. I mean, it, it's it's what you want to do. That what makes you feel comfortable. That's great. But you know, don't get on the internet and you know start insulting people, saying they're foolish or that's stupid or whatever because they choose not to wear what you choose. Some of us don't want to go down the road looking like a day glow Michelin marshmallow man. We just don't. You know, some of us have been riding a long time. I used to ride a panhead back in the day. It was it was kind of a, like a loner between like three friends. I remember that the passenger peg would fall off, or it would tone it would turn down to where you couldn't get your foot on it. So <laughs> you'd be riding, and all of a sudden, you know, your foot's in midair. So what'd we do? I mean, sometimes you go back and try to find the peg. Sometimes it's still attached but pointed down. So we just put our foot on the primary. And when we had to shift, we just kind of shifted in the air. That's what we did. Is it safe? Absolutely not. It, it, it's, it's one of the least safe things you could ever possibly do. Did we do it? Yeah. Why? Because we ride. But that's what I see on the internet a lot are these opinions by people that their first exposure has been a Can-Am Spider and they call themselves bikers. Okay, forget about labels, forget about all these things, just throw that out the window. But you're talking to people that, yes, some of us are on spiders now, some of us are still on two wheels, 
but we have a lot of riding experience a lot of riding experience so when I see someone that's been riding for four or five months two three years whatever I, I'm sorry I just you know I, I know you're excited I know you want to share a lot of what you're learning and seeing with everyone but you know you have to realize that a lot of us out here we we, we kind of been there done that so yes we're happy for you but don't tell us what to do and certainly don't get insulting by calling us foolish and stupid and all these things I mean because that's just you know that's like a little child like three four years old telling you you're doing something wrong it's like really really kid <laughs> okay why don't you grow up and and grow some hair on your nuts before you start telling me what to do so whatever gear you decide to wear or not wear it's completely cool because let me tell you something it's a false sense of security if you're on a spider if you're on a motorcycle if you're on whatever 40 50 60 miles an hour yeah yeah gear is going to help you gear doesn't stop you from snapping your neck hate to break it to the 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 the, the wear your gear crowd but it's not going to stop you from breaking your neck it's not going to stop you from breaking your back you know yeah it's it's going to save you some skin and you know it'll probably save your jaw if you wear a full face helmet keep your opinions and that's great give your opinion to people but don't be insulting about it so anyway and granted I'm, I'm not pointing this at anyone so you know feel free to comment below and tell me what you think call me an asshole Wait, I don't care I can, believe me I got a thick skin I really don't care I've been I've been married and divorced I know what it's like to be called an asshole so anyway listen just wanted to go for a short cruise today because the weather is just I mean it's just an absolutely perfect day today but you know I want to thank you guys as always to stop by drop a comment down below what you guys use when you ride helmet gloves pants whatever you wind up doing but the main thing is we all ride so let's all just be better to each other let's treat each other and talk to each other a little better all right so please do me a favor hit the like button hit the subscribe button the little bell icon right next to it and please share this with your family and friends especially fellow riders that might get a kick out of this i hope you guys have a great great day and thank you so much for stopping by